Welcome back guys and thanks for stopping by on this wonderful fall morning. Today I'm looking at ND filters for the Mavic 2 Pro and we're going to compare the polarized ND filters from Freewell to the polarized ND filters from Polar Pro. Coming right up, which one is the best for you? So there's a couple things that are very important to me with respect to ND filters. First is the build quality. Second is the functionality and the ease of use. And then lastly and most importantly are the results. Do you get the footage that you're looking for? So let's break these down side by side and see how Freewell and Polar Pro stack up. Okay, so basically I want to show you three different types of ND filters. This is just a, your basic ND filter from Freewell, and all it is is an ND filter. It's an ND16. You can't adjust this in any way. And so if I put this over the lens, you can kind of see that it basically is, is like they say. It's like, you know, sunglasses for your Mavic 2 Pro. So and it's going to be uniform throughout the entire lens. So top to bottom, it should be the same. So next up, I'll show you the ND filter from Freewell that's also an ND16. And this has a polarizer on it. And so this circular ring is adjustable so that you can adjust the polarization on the ND filter itself. So I'll try to put this on the screen and then adjust it. And you should be able to see as I turn that rim, it gets darker. If I want to lighten it up, I get, or darken it up, it gets really dark. And I keep twisting it, and then it gets eventually lighter and lighter and lighter. Alright, so that's the circular polarizer. So, so as I twist this in any direction, you'll see this little mark here. And that will darken up the entire, the entire lens here. So this is the ND32 gradient filter from Polar Pro, and what this does is you can see in the ND filter there that it is basically much more of an ND filter at the top, and then it goes to basically no filter on the bottom. And so this is very, very helpful in those situations where you have the super bright sky, and then you don't want to have as much of an ND filter on the ground below you, specifically when you're looking at a, a golden hour situation when there's a lot of contrast got the bright sunlight and then a lot of shadows down below on the ground so this is perfect for that but first you might ask yourself do I even need ND filters for the Mavic 2 Pro I thought you could just use the aperture to get your exposure set correctly yeah kind of let me show you so first let's recap the elements that make up the exposure for video so number one is your ISO value you want to keep this as low as possible ideally at 100 in most cases number two is the shutter speed you want to always keep this at double the frame rate that you're shooting at. So if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, you want to shoot at 1 over 48 or 1 over 50. If you're shooting at 30 frames per second, shoot at 1 over 60. Easy to remember. The third element is the aperture value. So this measures how open or closed the lens is with respect to light. So the higher the F number, F11, or the lower the F number, uh, this gives you a greater depth of field, so more of the overall shot is in focus. Alternatively, if you have a low F number like 2.8, you have a shallower depth of field, so less is in focus. Think of things like, you know, a port, like a close-up portrait, or if you're trying to get that blurry background, that's where you would use something like a 2.8. There seems to be a consensus in the community that F4 to F5.6 is the sweet spot. So for the sake of argument, let's make our initial f-stop target F4 when we set up, and then we can see what kind of ND filter we need from there. The goal is to get you to 99% set before you fly so that you can minimize changing the camera settings during that valuable flight time. So let's talk about build quality. Both Freewell and Polar Pro use a 16 layered coat on crystal clear optical glass. So they're essentially the same type of product. I've observed no defects in either set of filters after inspecting them very closely. Also, both Polar Pro and Freewell are very lightweight and essentially the same weight as the stock lens that comes with the Mavic 2 Pro. There's essentially no difference in the weight. And lastly, both of the companies also offer a lifetime warranty on the products that they sell. And this is not just limited to ND filters. I think this is on all the products that they sell. So if you have any issues with them, just contact them, send them back, and they'll send out a replacement. That's, that's a great product support. Next, let's talk about functionality and ease of use. First, I like how the Freewell filters are oriented in the case so you can see the ND filter strength. 
However, on the Polar Pros, the ND filters are oriented in such a way that the labels are hidden from view. Secondly, both are very simple to install and remove. As a bonus, the Polar Pro has an added little grip tool to aid in this process, though I've had no issues with either brand installing or removing them manually. And thirdly, both have visible markers on the ND filter to aid in adjustment, which is very helpful. Lastly, both are very simple to use once you get the hang of removing the stock lens after the first time or two. It really just boils down to whether you want a polarizer ND filter from Freewell or a gradient ND filter from Polar Pro. In normal mode, the footage looks good straight out of the camera. However, at f11, this is as dark as I can get this clip. Comparing the gradient filter to the polarized filter, you can see how the blue sky is retained on the left without sacrificing the shadows. On the polarized filter on the right, I didn't turn the filter up enough, so the sky is quite a bit overexposed, which I didn't notice until 24 hours later. If I compare all three, you can see how the footage is improved just by adding a bit of a color grade to make things a bit warmer and more vibrant. So guys, what do you think? Is it better to just have the ND filters, the standard version from Freewell, that where it's just set and you just slap it on the end of the Mavic 2 Pro camera and forget about it? Or is it better to have the polarized versions from Freewell where you can adjust that and tweak that down exactly as you need it to be? Or is it better to have the gradient filter version from Polar Pro where you have that graduated filter from top to bottom? There's lots of different use cases for both of these. I kind of feel like I need both of these, actually. They're both great products. They both have a lifetime warranty. They're both made, made by good companies, and I get good results with both of these options. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.